Howdy, everybody, and welcome to the Yellowbird Hotline podcast, the podcast where your favorite hot sauce company answers questions from their customers, whether or not we're qualified to answer them. Um, today, we've got a real banger for you guys, and surprise for everybody who's participating in the podcast, I have a game for you guys today. Ooh! I had a fun time playing... Uh, Playing sea, sea shanty TikTok Mad Libs at several Maybe episodes. Maybe you had a fun time. I did. I had yeah. a fun time. <laughs> Not all of us had a fun time. I had a fun time watching you ride a sea shanty, Aaron. Watching me struggle through the and shanty. The, yeah. Shanty I'm, struggles. So mm-hmm. we're going to try it. And if it doesn't work out, then you know what? I feel like we owe it to our customers to publish it anyway. So. <laughs> How's it sounds doing very, this you sound very confident. In I, don't our want to ask, I want to ask more questions. I'm like, is this, is this an Olympic game? I is... don't know. We'll get, to it. <laughs> we'll get to it. It is related to the question somewhat. So uh, once you hear the question, you're going to start groaning because you'll have an idea of what the game is going to be. Um, well, let's, uh, let's, I, I got a couple of announcements first. First of all, uh, I want to make sure that people know that we're a hot sauce company. Uh, you can get a discount on your first order of Yellowbird sauce uh, because you listen to this podcast. So if you go to yellowbirdfoods.com, put in code HOTLINE10 at checkout for 10% off of your next order. Um, that's a cool thing that you can do. Um, yeah. And it's it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day outside. A lot of allergies <laughs> going on right now. Yes, yeah, spring is yeah. great, except for all the dust. And I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, it's been, it's been like an, it's been ultra allergies this year for some reason. It wasn't like cedar season. It was like once pollen started. It was tree mm-hmm. po- like tree pollens, other tree pollens. What blows my mind is like two weeks ago, it was literally like frozen. It was a tundra out here in Austin yeah. for like ten days, and now I've got mosquitoes in my yard. Like, how did that happen? Mm-hmm. I thought all the mis- I, I thought like the freeze would kill all the bugs and like good news. There's blue bonnets, which is pretty cool. Blue bonnets are up. Bad news. There are skeeters in my yard and I don't skeeters. like it. The yeah. indestructible mosquito. Yeah. Nature is, it, life finds a way, you know? Life, life does, find a way. does find a way. Jeff Goldberg. That's the quote, right? I always say it wrong. That's Yeah. Life oh, do, you have life, it. Life I like do a thing. I really like the one. I forget which comedian does this one, but he like sees a, a a little sprig of grass popping up through like the middle of the city concrete streets, and he's just like, "That's fucking majestic." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or something like that. I don't know. Heroic, maybe. I forget. I totally butchered that. Yeah. yeah. No. Sorry, sorry, comedian, whoever that was. That pigeon is eating <laughs> a bread crust. Nature. That is majestic. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, I mean, observing the pigeons and there's sleeping. magic everywhere. You just have to look, you know. Oh, well, guys, I, I want I want to get right into the question because I want to play this game because it might take a minute to explain. Okay, <laughs> George is antsy. Let's get to the game. He's so I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I was prepping. Okay, so here's our question for today. It, excited to see your faces as I play it. Here we go. Hey, y'all. I have a question about D&D. In narrative terms, in the world that Dungeons & Dragons takes place in, what's the actual non-game mechanical difference between a spell cast as a ritual and a spell cast with a spell slot? What does it mean when you cast a spell using a spell slot? Are you using up a store of like mana or energy that you have inside of you? Is it just exhaustion or tiredness? What does casting a spell as a ritual actually look like? So, for example, if you're casting fireball and it requires a bit of bat guano, does casting as a ritual involve burning incense and a sensor and casting a magic circle? Do you need to carry a bunch of implements with you? How come it doesn't use up whatever it does as a spell slot if you're using it as a ritual? I guess uh, I'm just curious, you know? Shouldn't spending 10 minutes to perform a carefully choreographed set of ritual motions and chants be more exhausting than holding a piece of bat guano and shouting, get lit at your competition anyway hope you can answer 
Yeah. Did you pay yeah. somebody to call in with that question? Tori? I did not. <laughs> did you say, pay your D and D audience? Yeah, that I was Venmo not. for sure. So I yeah. did not Venmo track. anybody. <laughs> you, George paid his paid his D and D friend to call in, and I did not. <laughs> I did not pay anybody. I did not. I did Wait, not. What's, I, what's I think I think we all D &D. learned from, from the from the Paris Hilton from our Paris Hilton episode that George is a Cash App fan now, or mm. or is it like fans only? I don't, I don't know how uh, you I'm, I'm a zeller. No, you, you nailed it. You nailed it. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. It's fans only. It's, it's, only <laughs> it's only fans, Daniel. Don't, don't pretend. Don't pretend. Wow, Mr. Just, Knowledge. There you go. I still write checks. I don't know, man. Whoa. Old school. Uh, where, did, where do you mail them? The OnlyFans <laughs> P.O. Box? Do you fax uh, them somewhere? To the J. Crew P.O. Box so I can get my khakis. Mm. Obviously. Khakis. <laughs> khakis. Okay, <laughs> so let's not avoid the question. This is a D&D &D question. I've been excited about it since it hit our inbox because... I'm the only one of us who knows anything about D and D. I was gonna say, yeah, I mean, how long was that question? Yeah, of what I know about D and D came from a Tom Hanks movie from the '80s, so I'm pretty okay. sure that I'm most qualified. Wait, what this. movie is this? Big? I think it's yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Joe versus Volcano <laughs> passed away. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I don't passed remember. Passed away. D &D passed Hanks away movies. was basically all about D and D. Yeah, he was <laughs> stuck on an island, had a lot of time to think about quests so <laughs> D, D, dungeons and dragons <laughs> tabletop role-playing game basically you gotta you got different characters you roll dice to decide stuff that happens um and the question here was what is the difference between casting a spell with a spell slot and casting a spell as a ritual and you know i'm gonna tell you guys you know what now george just just yeah. before we go way too deep in this I don't care about your answer, yeah. but I, I do remember you telling me one time that uh, that one of the biggest places where D and D is played is inside the prison system. Oh yeah, I read that. I read that D and D is like big in prison. That tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So I going to put it out there for all of you guys who are about to tune out, like I am. Just know <laughs> that this might be a useful skill you know, next time you're inside in yeah. prison. Yeah. yeah. Be. So I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay attention. I love. I don't to learn plan on going skill. to prison, but you never really know. I don't you know. know. You don't. You don't know. <laughs> I um, mean, can we get everyone's you know familiarity with Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, let's do that before we Aaron, embark on your journey to the answer. Yeah, I mean, Aaron, Kelsey, what, what I feel like your... you you you've watched more Game of Thrones than anybody on here, so I feel like this that gives true. you some cred. Actually, that can't be true. I've seen all of it. Is there more than all of it? It's just a dice game, right? Yeah, you play with the thrones <laughs> and the dragons. Yeah, right? you just swap them around in your hand. Um, yeah, I mean, Game of Thrones. I feel like my Game of Thrones is its own thing, though. I feel like my my only real familiarity with D and D, besides my friends that play it, shout out to them if they're listening. But um, <laughs> what up, nerds? <laughs> yeah, nerd alert. But is Stranger Things because they play it in Stranger Things. The kids they play do. it. Yep. That's the 1980s, which is technically before my time. So I feel like it's a little history lesson for me um, <laughs> that people had basements and they play Dungeons and Dragons in it. That's what I have learned. And that there's, yeah, you roll things and things happen and there's cool little pieces. So I think I nailed it. That is all that needs to be said. <laughs> All right, my, yeah. my understanding of Dungeons and Dragons is that you get a bunch of, you will get a small group of people together. Nerds. Yeah, you, 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 you say it, yeah. Human, humans, <laughs> humans together. You get a group humans. of, uh, how much are you saying? Uh... They, they, they make, they, they, they pretend to be a, a character, so they get to make up what they are. That's kind of cool and kind of fun. You have this like, cool. fun voice that you can come up with. And mm -hmm. then they basically just tell a story walking through the woods. And, and they, come in, they come up with, you know, crazy little scenarios that they, mm -hmm. oh, little, uh, little traps. And, and oh my God. <laughs> oh, what oh, is that oh, over there? Oh, it's, a little trap. Uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, coming up with stories and uh, being a total nerd about it. And I kind of love that part, but mm -hmm. that's, that's my extent. I like this because if you put Aaron's description together with Kelsey's description, it's kind of like Monopoly designed by Hans Christian Andersen. Mm. It's like you take those two things, like a Hans Christian Andersen story and overlay it on top of Monopoly and there you go. So Hasbro, that's your next big idea. Well, Daniel, what's <laughs> yeah. your, I feel like you've told me, uh, you've told me a, a story of a 
Dungeons and Dragons game that you played before years ago? Yeah, I mean, we did like Dungeons and Dragons Light in Boy Scouts, like on, on camping trips. And it was really just a chance for like the older guys to be the dungeon masters and then just kill the younger kids. We're like, <laughs> we're idiots. Um, and then you gotta put in, those kids in their place. You know? That's right. Uh, when I was in grad school, though, I had some guys who uh, who were like, "Hey, we're putting together a D and D game. You know, you want to be a part of it?" And they and they pitched it like it was super exclusive. Like, "Hey, we're only inviting a handful of folks." I'm like, uh, "All right, I mean, cool." So I went over there for like for the first game, and that was like the whole like character development meeting. You had to figure out who your character was, what kind of mythical yeah. creature they were. You know like the, the quest was like was kind of laid out there and I all right this is fun right so I'm you know writing down like who I'm gonna be and we were an hour into it and I was like hey so like when do we start when do we start playing th this game <laughs> uh, like, oh yeah yeah we, we still got some more character creation and like you know quest development to do I'm like oh, okay it's so like two and a half hours into this I'm like hey when do when do we start like playing the game can I can I go home <laughs> and they're like <laughs> Like Lauren and I shared a car. Like we still share a car, and she's like, "Hey, I'm gonna come pick you up like three hours after you start." And first of all, like, these are guys that I knew. Like we drank beer together, we hung out together, like in other you know, social settings, and it was a fun. And they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons," and like they scolded me, like, "Hey, dude, like if you're gonna be serious about this, you need to, you know, like you know, at least budget four to five hours every time wow. we, we do this." I'm like, "How often do you plan on doing this?" We're like oh, twice a week. I'm like. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's yep. a commitment. Yeah. It's, George, uh, George, real quick, real quick. How many games do you play a week? Well, now I just play one. Oh. But, <laughs> at, at, at a high point, he was at three three games play, a week. Yeah, wow. One point, one How point, long? Well, 12 hours. Dungeons, I'll just say that Dungeons and Dragons has been a bit of a salve for me during COVID times because I, I had like uh, I had a group of guys that was like, like pre-COVID a couple of months. I had a group of guys it was like it was like hey let's play some dungeons and dragons and i was like yeah okay sure and we were doing like an in-person game and then we switched it's like a zoom game and it's been like uh i don't know it, it's been one of the things that i can do regularly during covid and i know that it's nerdy but it's been like one of the like one of the things that i that i noticed you know six seven months into covid is that like we would we would go into we would go like our characters would go into like a tavern or something right and like we just all missed being at bars so much that we would just role play being at a tavern for like <laughs> two hours and I was like you know what this is somewhat psychotic but it it is making me it is making me feel better so <laughs> therapy there you go. The, the mind therapy. is powerful yeah yeah. yeah. So, so would you like go into, into taverns and pick fights? But you're like, man, that orc's <laughs> staring at my girl. No, no, no. Like, no. We would go, we would go, we would like uh we would like go into taverns and like and and like order stuff that was like off the menu, like you know, just just like stuff that people do, like like, oh yeah, you guys have ale, but like do, do, can y'all make like a mudslide? I know ice, doesn't, I know ice doesn't exist yet, but like, can we get like a mudslide or something? Let's get mudslides for the whole. All right, table. I'm gonna we're roll to see if the bartender makers. knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if if you roll a, a five or lower, like, not that kind of tavern. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you roll a if you roll a six to ten, it's a you know they give you something that they think is a mudslide, but it's terrible. And you oh. take one point of exhaustion. So I don't literally know. Like, the dice is glass. like the dice has how many little sides? So there's different. Uh, oh no. There's different sides. <laughs> you <laughs> ask the question. No, I I'm very curious because I again there's I kind no of understand answer. it. So I just don't know if there's. I guess my question as an outsider is: Is there like regulations, like certain special dice you have to buy? Is there like so, a book involved? Like what do you need? Set us up for what you need to play the game because I already okay. know it takes a long yeah. time. Is, is so. there is there a D and D governing body? So the the, the, <laughs> the, mo the most the most frequently used die in D and D is the, is the twenty sided dice, which looks something like this. Oh God! <laughs> wow, George has the fancy. Die. That's but, some nice gradient on that. It's yeah. really pretty. It's it just really it goes, but so it goes. It goes one to twenty. There's, there's all. I mean, they've got all the way down to like a four-sided die, which is, which is just a little pyramid. Okay. So I think 
any question that you can p- potentially ask about D&D will not have a simple answer. Well, no, the, the answer to the dice is that you're just, the, the system of D&D is they're just trying to get like a, basically like a percentage chance of something happening. Any okay. roll, any roll of the dice is like, you might have like a statistic, you know, like, let's say that I have a fighter character and he's got a, uh, uh, what you call like a strength modifier. So he might have a plus eight strength modifier. And then if I was going to do something, if I was like, if I was like, oh, I want to like uh, knock this door off the hinges, I might roll a strength check and I would roll a D20 and then I would add my strength modifier. So <laughs> I might need this in prison. Like I, I said, not no simple answer. I might need this in prison. I might need this in prison. I it's a lot of math. It's a lot of math. It's a lot of I'm math. I'm just looking D&D. at Kelsey and just, she's just like, mm. but, but like, there's. <laughs> I did not know when I asked. I had no the, idea. the idea. The idea behind it is just that, like, there's a chance that this thing could happen. Like, if you if you wanted your character to just do something mundane, like, oh, I want to drink a glass of water, you just to say, okay, well, you do that, and anybody can do that. But if you want to do something kind of like extraordinary, then there's like a dice roll, and then there's a mo- the modifier kind of implies that okay, somebody who's a strong character has a better chance of doing this than like a uh, yeah, squirrely wizard or something. So like a squirrely wizard might have a negative two to their strength. So like if I roll a 10 as a fighter, it, I add an eight and get an 18. Whereas as a wizard, I get I, minus two and get an eight. So it's much more likely that the strong character will do it. So that's how the dice rolls work. It's not, you don't constantly roll dice. You could play hours of D&D and not roll any dice at all. Well, so that brings us back to bat guano. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> back to the question. sufficiently flexed on your D&D, so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, if you think that's a D&D flex. <laughs> she's asking about, she's asking about, I don't want to spend a ton of time on it because I know that, is there's not going to be like Rosh's debate around this. She's asking about the difference between casting something as a ritual and using a spell slot. And basically what that means is like certain characters like a sorcerer or wizard or something have the ability to cast certain types of spells. So say that you want to cast like a fire bolt or something. Shoot fire at your hands, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it makes that noise. That's canon. <laughs> like, is that a cast- standard? Do you need fire on these quests a lot out of your hand? Yeah, I mean, okay. pretty much something. It- is yeah. that anything staff, like fire? I'm just wondering, yeah, yeah, like what's a typical what 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 are you typically spelling? Is that yeah, what, what kind of attacks you use in here? Yeah, so it's I mean this is this is like the difference between like an attack and like so casting something as a ritual means that you don't have to like you have a certain amount of spell slots. So okay. like you might have seven spell slots, which means I can only cast seven spells. And so for like the purpose of a spell slot is that it burns away a certain amount of your magical energy and a spell slot is used to cast a spell like immediately. Like if I want to cast a fire, if I'm in combat and I want to boom, cast a fireball like immediately, I burn a spell slot for that. But you can also, certain characters can cast it as a ritual where they basically take 10 minutes and concentrate or like read a book or have a ritual or something where they can cast that same spell, but it takes them 10 minutes. So like in game mechanics, that means you can't use it in combat because it takes you 10 minutes to sit there and You'd think You'd be about dead it. by the time you get so you it just, done. you just sit, like that's like a game out for 10 minutes. Right. Is there a special timer? Well, you don't, t- it's not a, it's not it's on your calculator game. watch. Yeah, it's not real time, right? So like you would do this when you're not in a combat <laughs> situation. You'd say like, oh, I take 10 minutes to do this spell. And then you're like, okay, 10 minutes has passed. There's nothing eventful happens what if what if you've got like a, a posse with you who can protect you while you're taking your time to read your book and bring your well, they, yeah they have to protect you for 10 minutes which is a, most combat doesn't last what if you long. had a protective shell around yeah. you for 10 like minutes. a hermit crab yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah there you go. Fine. maybe, maybe yeah. that's maybe that's your move you like you burn a spell slot to 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 build your protective shell, which uh-huh. gives you the time to do your ritual, which brings off the bigger yeah. bang. I don't My know. Own See, Dan- Dan- Daniel, you were making fun of it, but now you're playing mm. D&D. <laughs> well, 
Well, see, I was waiting for you to be like really like superior about it, but you're just so likable, George. You know. <laughs> have you experienced any biodomes in D and D? They have biodomes. There are. There's a spell called Liaman's Tiny Hut that is essentially a biodome. <laughs> I knew yeah. it. Um, Does Polly Shore end up in there? Yeah. <gasps> he's, he's the guy that runs it. He never leaves. He can never leave the biodome. So which, the, Kelsey, I, help me out here. Which, which of the Baldwins was in biodome? I always forget. Was it Stephen? Uh, I think it was Stephen, Stephen Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah. Billy Baldwin. How many Baldwins? I are think there? it was Stephen. Too like, many. Four at least. Okay. Maybe I do you want, want to say that I asked this question, this customer question, to my D and D group last night? Oh, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> And essentially, because like when you when you cast a spell as a ritual, it does not burn a spell slot, which is a big advantage, right? Because you have a very limited amount of spell slots as a spellcaster. And we came up with the analogy that it's like the same as it's the same thing if I was like, hey, I need you to run a mile, and you either have 10 minutes to do it or like six seconds to do it. One thing is complete, one thing is like doable. And the other thing is impossible unless you use some, uh, magic. some magic, magic force. So like, that's kind of the difference I think is just that the amount of ener energy that would have to be expended is like completely unrealistic to do the first thing. And that's what using a spell slot is, is like tapping into like impossible energy. Um, impossible energy. That's the name of our next small batch hot sauce. Impossible energy. Impossible. Um, so I think Inconceivable. That, I think that that question got answered. You guys learned a little bit about D&D &D, and now... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I have a game for you guys. I, I was like, I, 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 I halfway thought about, could we play, could I make them play D&D &D in 30 minutes? No, I couldn't. I've learned that that is not, yeah. yeah. That, is that I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be finished explaining it in 30 minutes, I don't think. But... I did find a game that we can play in 30 minutes and it is called Honey Heist. And we're going to, I'm going to send you guys. I'm and you, you, you all get to be a character from Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. That would chasing be awesome. after those I, want, I want to be Eeyore. Piglet you know with a bullet. You know what? We're going to take, we're going to take, uh, we're going to take a short break in the podcast. Cause I got to send you guys a couple of things. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we'll we'll start it back up, but let's. Uh, uh, I'll, we'll see everybody uh, when we get back from the break shortly. I hope you enjoy the break. Thanks to music. the magic of radio. <laughs> hey, boys and girls! The game that we play on this episode, in case you like it and want to play it, is a game called Honey Heist. It's literally like two pages. It's by a guy named Grant Howitt, and you can get the game for free at his website. It's g-s-h-o-w-i-t-t dot itch, i-t-c-h dot i-o slash honey dash heist. I will also drop that link in the episode notes, so you have it. Welcome back. We're back. We're back now. <laughs> Uh, we are going to be playing uh, a game called Honey Heist. Um, uh, shout out! Uh, well, shout out to the creator of Honey Heist, uh, Grant H. Grant Howitt. Um, it's a it's a short little game where uh, here's the gist of it: you guys are all bears, so Arr. you're all bears, and you're going to uh, attempt to heist some honey. From Honeycon. So let's create your characters first. So if you go to that one page honey heist sheet that I just slacked to you, um, let's go, let's do, uh, who wants to go first? I wanna be Baloo. So, okay. The power move. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, wait, was that an option? It's not, I mean, you can name, you, you can name your character. Okay. So do you wanna go first? I wanna be Baloo. <laughs> I'll I'll go I'll go yeah I'll I'll, I'll roll my dice so okay is Daniel oh, no. Daniel give me a, give me a character name uh, Landreth Landreth wow. <laughs> that was the that was a model of shoes I owned in 2010 okay yeah good one <laughs> okay so then roll uh roll a roll a d6 
Roll do I roll all three of them at the same time, or do I you roll? Can roll one just, at a time? You can just roll one at a time. We'll go because it'll be descriptor. Oh, will okay. be first. Okay, cool. Well, then I will roll, and it is a two. Okay, you're washed up. Oh man, I'm a washed up. Yeah, right, here roll, I go. I'll roll roll again. again. Oh, also a two. Okay, so you're a polar bear. Yeah, I can swim. Washed which up means that you bear. have the special ability <laughs> of swimming. Have the power uh, to move you. And then my third role is a one. Okay, you're the muscle of this group. Best believe. <laughs> wow. I did two pull-ups this morning. Just whatever. Woo, yeah, that's, wow. Did you, <laughs> did you like roll a die while you were doing a pull-up? Uh, no. <laughs> got to work on that. Okay. Um, and, and the game is going to start. Everybody's got... Uh, there, there's only two stats in this game. There's a bear stat and there's a criminal stat. Bears. So write down bear. You got three points in bear and three points in criminal. Everybody starts out this way. Okay. Um, so now your character is created. You can think of a fun voice for, for Landreth if you want. Not required. All right. Who's who's next? Who's next? I'll go. I'll go next. Am I am I rolling dice? I already I already named my bear Baloo. Okay, you're gonna be Baloo. Um, we might have copyright issues with Disney. We, we probably will. I mean, maybe, maybe, <laughs> just okay. make it three so, O's at yeah, the it's end. Three three O's. Baloo. It's fantasy fantasy spelling. Baloo. Yeah. It's just Baloo. Yeah. Okay. Nah, dude, uh, I, I think Roger Kipling. All his stuff is like in the public domain now. I think we're good. Oh, cool. Uh, Aaron, a roll, a, roll, a, roll a D roll a D six. <laughs> Okie doke. Rolling that D6. You got four. Okay. You are an unhinged. Mm, yes, I am. Okay. What, roll it Roll it again. Five. You are a sun bear. So you're a... Yeah, I am. So I'm an unhinged sun bear. <laughs> Your your uh your special uh your special ability is sense honey. You can sense honey. Now roll it roll it one more time. <laughs> hey Baloo, what honey's at? Yeah. Honey! <laughs> uh one. One? Oh, okay. Roll again. Roll again because we already already got a one. Two. Okay, you are the brains. Man, Brainy I'm bear. just winning over here. Yeah. yeah. Unhinged yeah. brains. I like it. All <laughs> right. Kelsey, you got a name for your bear? Yes, uh, bear breast dry sand. <laughs> You'll need to use the full name when referring to me as her. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, roll that. Roll do we that. have permission to use her name? Yes, we do. Bear breath? We're very Absolutely. close. Yeah. Uh, I got a five. Okay, you're slick. I knew it. Okay, <laughs> best believe. I'm, I'm slick. Okay, I'm rolling again. Yep. I got a six. You're a honey badger? Makes sense. <laughs> uh, which means that your special ability is carnage. Yeah. And not giving a shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, roll, roll one more time. Um, got another six. Okay. You're the face. You're the face man. So this makes sense. So you're the slick. I mean, it makes sense that you're slick and you're the face man. Uh, okay. So Airbrush dry sand. Everybody make, sure you get, everybody make sure you got three points written down in, for bear for your bear stat and three points written down for your criminal stat. Um, we'll, ki we, we'll kick it off here in a second. Wait, what? Can... Explain that to me. So just write down the word bear and put like three dots next to it. And then the word okay. criminal, put three dots next to it. Here's how, here's how the system works. So there's very, there, there's very little dice rolling and stat looking at. Um, I'll explain it to you. I'll explain how it works and then we can go into it. If you need another explanation, I will do that then. So the D6 is the only thing that you're going to roll. So like if we get to a role where you need to do something that, that maybe can succeed and maybe can't succeed, I'm going to have you roll that the D6, the six sided die. If the, if, it, if the thing you're doing is a bear thing, and by a bear thing, I mean like mauling something or eating honey or climbing a tree, if it's, or, you know, like if it's a bear thing. Pooping in the woods. Right. Yeah. Pooping in the woods. Just like if it's scratching my it, back on a tree. Exactly. If it's, a, if it's, if it's something that is a bear related. Raising thing, a man cub. 
then if you roll your bear stat or below, you succeed at it. So right now your bear stat is three. So if you roll a one, two, or three, you succeed at that bear related thing. Uh, if, if it's something that is not, anything that is not a bear thing would be criminal. So literally anything that like, that, that doesn't fall under that, like, you know, and we can decide when we come to it, but like, it would be a criminal thing. Now, if you get, if you get super frustrated, if something becomes super frustrating in the game, then you will convert a point. Like if you try something and you're like really not doing it, you convert a point, you take a point from criminal and put it into bear. If you get six points in bear, then you just, you just wig out, you totally go nature boy and just run off into the woods. If you get all six points in criminal, you become a criminal mastermind and you just peace out. So you want to have a good balance. So like if you do some, if you succeed at something, uh, changing stats. So right here is number four changing stats. If you, if you, if the plan fails, you run into difficulty, you move one point from criminal to bear. Um, greed, when the plan goes off without a hitch, move a point from bear to criminal. So we'll get to what, 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 Kelsey? I'm just reading. That's a lot of words on this instructional sheet. <laughs> Okay, well, we kind of forgot half of what we're supposed to do. But... Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it for now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, only... George, I'm, I'm, yeah, just just you just tell us what to do. And we're I will. Gonna, we're gonna have yeah. Fun right. Grant, time. Grant just put a lot into this, so I was trying yeah. to take all of it in. It's also yeah. like handwritten. So the only other thing that you have to know is that you all have a skill. So uh, Landreth, as a polar bear, has a swimming skill. So if there's something that involves swimming, you get to roll twice and take the better roll. Okay. So like uh, Baloo, if Baloo is sensing honey, if, she, if, if, if he or she is trying to determine where some honey is, you get to roll twice for that. Just Baloo. Um, Bar Barbara Streisand, if Barbara is trying to cause carnage, she gets to roll twice for that. In D&D terms, that would be called rolling at advantage. You roll twice and take the better number. So that's, um, that, that's the only other thing to note. Now, um, we open. HoneyCon 2021 is being held in a large field in Pettigrew, Arkansas, at the foot of the Ozarks. It's an outdoor festival held every year. Um, Who sponsors the, it? Walmart, probably. Uh, it's actually sponsored by Honey Booster, mm. which is a uh, <laughs> which is a non trademark violating uh, mm. uh, company <laughs> that mm. does that does honey based energy shots. Um, it's an never heard of them. Outdoor festival held here every year to the delight of locals and the national honey community. Honey purveyors of all experience levels come here to compete for honey fame and a chance at the grand prize, a jug of ultra dense mega honey from super posh bees. Uh, that's the prize that you guys are after. It is a lovely day today, the last day of the five day honey fest. And it's just the day you've been waiting for because today is the day they will hand out the grand prize a jug of ultra dense mega honey, the ultimate bear treat. Campers, trucks, and vendor stalls dot the landscape as far as the eye can see. And you can see from the edge of the festival, the ring of 18 wheeler trucks that surround an armored car at the center containing the mega honey. Your intel has told you that the time lock will open in one hour and you have just boop, set your bear watches. We open on three bears. Um, or oh, two bears and a honey badger, I guess I should say. Thank you. Um, rifling through, uh, rifling through a thrift giveaway box uh, of clothing outside of the local Blockbuster video. <laughs> um, we're gonna we're gonna give you guys uh, we're gonna give you guys some bear disguises because otherwise you just look like bears. You got to infiltrate these people. Um, so hit that uh, hit that disguise sheet that one page the sky sheet real quick mm -hmm. um Got okay we'll what? Go. um i put it in the slack one page <laughs> wow i can barely even tell you're a bear yeah we love to see it love to see it <laughs> um you don't have to read the whole thing but we're gonna we're each person is gonna roll d6 four times blue let's start with you to see what you pull out of this uh what you pull out of this clothing box First number is a two. Okay, you've got a very 90s tie-dyed. 
Uh, wait, okay, so that's two very 90s tie dyed. Okay. How many times am I rolling today? Uh, four Please. total. Another two. Okay, you got a crop top, tie dyed crop top. <laughs> oh, lucky. Crop top. Looking good. Yeah. I mean, I am unhinged, so. <laughs> I think that's on trend. <laughs> four. You got a black leather. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And then got another two. Man. Knee length, knee -length skirt. skirt. Yeah. <laughs> so you wear a tie dyed tank top and a knee length leather Crop. skirt. So there's like a nice, there's a nice, you know, body portion. Yeah. There's yeah. plenty of midriff there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's adrift. Okay. What next? Um, optionally, you can take a hat. <laughs> You can take an accessory. <clears throat> oh, well, the <laughs> pink cowboy hat for sure. You don't get to pick it. You get to roll for it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, I was just going with twos. Twos were, you know, it's on a roll with twos. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I rolled a two. You get a bejeweled crown. You're wearing a bejeweled crown. Beautiful. So you got all that stuff down. You're wearing a, um, a tie-dye crop top, leopard uh, black or a la black leather... Well, this, uh, is very, this is very this is very bajine. Okay. Uh let's hit Barbara Streisand. Am I rolling? Yeah. Okay. First number is a three. Okay, you've got powder blue frilly. Okay, second number is a five. A powder blue frilly jumper. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Matchy yeah. match. I'm wondering. If that's like the U.S. jumper, which would be like a romper, or if that's the U.K. one, which would be a sweater. Jesus. I don't know. I can't know. Good let's question. Get, let's make it a romper. We're in. Okay. We're in Pettigrew. Uh, next rock. number is a four. You get a also black leather. And then a four. Uh, bell, bell bottom, bottom flares. flares. Wow, black leather bell bottoms. Dang. I mean, that's a whole on thing. top of your romper. That's crazy. Yeah. Or you yeah, just I'm, romper. I'm just layering for safety. I mean, your shirt won't come untucked. That's nice. We're kind no of stacking up. Yeah, yeah. Stacking up to look a lot like the Spice Girls. I like it. <laughs> uh, my third, my third, or am I supposed to roll again? My you can if you want. Is. You have an accessory if you want. Oh, okay. Please be beautiful blonde wig. Please be beautiful blonde wig. I got a five. Beautiful blonde wow. wig. <laughs> wow. You manifested that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Is it my turn? Yeah, you get. Uh, oh, good. All right, here we go. I'm rolling. I rolled a five. Get a beige. And I rolled a two. A beige, beige crop, crop top. top. Yeah, yeah okay. this is a dirty t shirt. <laughs> All right. I got a three. Tartan, which is plaid. Yeah, and a <laughs> six. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Smart trousers. I had to look up tartan when I saw this sheet. I, was I like, mean, we normally just say tartan. Tartan. Oh, okay. Tartan. Tartan. Yeah, I'm you're in Arkansas, familiar. so it's tartan. Tartan. Well, tartan. <laughs> Hi, man. What, what is the tartan? What in tartan? It's plaid. Okay. All right. So, so I've got a, a a beige crop top and some smart tartan trousers. I, I don't think <laughs> I need yeah. an accessory. Okay. I think I've got right. just enough. Well, That's my nice. accessory gave me negative two points. So. No, oh. don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry too much about the HBS score. Okay, you guys, you guys, uh, the blockbuster with this thrift drop is right on the edge of uh, of the field where uh, where Honeycon is. You see, uh, you see people uh, going in an entrance line. There's not a there's not a fee to get in, um, but you see people going through uh, through a little gate. Um, there's a guy handing out uh, handing out tickets. You get sampling tickets for the different honey booths. So what do y'all do? What do you want to do? Well, I, I'm clearly set up to um, distract the uh, people at the entry that are, you know, guarding the entry for you guys to get past. And, so. and just to be clear, uh, do we know how much time is left? Like, how much time do we burn getting our disguises? You burned about sure. you burned about seven minutes. You got 53 minutes remaining. A quick change okay. yeah. until the armored car opens up. Okay. So tell me again, how, who's manning the gates? It's just, a, uh, yeah, it's, it's two, it's two people. It's a man and a woman. They, uh, the man's wearing overalls. The woman's wearing a little dress. They're a little, 
they're a little plump. They just seem like uh, they just seem like they seem like okay. friendly locals. They're okay, handing well, out tickets to kids and people who are coming in. Luckily, I brought um, some really delicious baked goods. They happen to also be filled with some um, <laughs> special ingredients. So I'm going to go up to the entry gatekeepers and, you know, kind of work my magic because I am a, I am the brains after all. Okay. Mm -hmm. what is, yeah. So what do you, what, what is your magic? My, I, what, I mean, talk to them. You approach and, the, you approach the. And offer them some delicious, you know, special brownies that I've baked. <laughs> you, <laughs> They're <you> great. <laughs> Oh, oh! I, I should mention there is a wrinkle in this game. You can talk to people. You can talk to other bears, and you can talk to people, but only like haltingly, only like hello, or you know, you can't, you can't, you can't talk, you can't talk to people in, in full. Sentences. Make honey give. Yeah, yeah, you got the idea. You got. The oh, idea. okay. So I use my body language uh -huh. to offer them brownie. Yeah. You walk up. You walk up to them, holding a holding a a, a Tupperware brownies, I assume. And uh, like this, because you know, I'm like you know, all sexy in my tie dye crop top, yep. black leather knee length skirt with my bejeweled hat. Okay. The woman turns to you and she <laughs> says, "Well, hey there, honey. That's a nice outfit you're wearing. Welcome and to HoneyCon. Like, mm, thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks like you got some brownies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, here's some tickets. Go go on in and enjoy yourself. She hands you. I made these for you. <laughs> mm, make you. Oh well, that's very. And then and then you know. I think you got your mic muted. <laughs> oh no, I don't. I'm here. You don't. No, oh, she doesn't. That's weird. Um, uh, she says, "Oh, that that was that was sweet of you. That, uh, thank you so much. But uh, there's plenty of sweet. There's plenty of sweet things in here." um why don't you why don't you roll for criminal to see if you can get her to taste taste these brownies okay <laughs> yes you do well, uh, what am i looking at though i rolled a five okay so oh, you, have, no. you have to roll your criminal score score or lower so so that that's a fail so where you am i looking where am i looking for this criminal score so i remember i told you three points in bear and three points in criminal nope i forgot that Okay. So, <laughs> she got her outfit, but she was not ready for yeah, criminals. Okay. So you got three points in bear, three points in criminal. You rolled a five, which is over your criminal score. You have to roll your criminal score or under for that thing to be a success. So you hand her this, you hand her this uh, thing of brownies and she says, oh, well, that was really sweet. I might try these later. And she sets them down. But you, she, she has handed you some tickets. Um, are, are the other bears uh coming coming with or are they are y'all waiting outside uh baloo has just entered the festival and now has 10 tickets for honey sampling oh uh, i'm i want that too i'm going in okay you approach the same same lady well hey there honey welcome to HoneyCon 2021 she hands you 10 tickets and she kind of points in the direction you see some you see some vendor booths uh where they're sampling different honey uh, concoctions cool i i follow baloo yeah it's a bear move, right? That's a bear, 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 bear move, bear move. Yeah. You, are you go? Are you going to bear, bro? Uh, yeah. I mean, I as as the face, you know, I was gonna maybe approach some of the honey booths inside and just uh just see if they have any intel on the truck. Okay. You're gonna show up fashionably late. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in a wig. So okay, she hands you it. ten tickets. You all now have ten tickets, and there you uh you're you're inside. Uh, you see you see the booths uh going on um and and as you're kind of like walking towards the booths bearbers making a move towards the booths you you notice um you notice a, a couple of guys in suits they stand out because there's not a lot of people out here in suits kind of uh peeking around one of the corners they're not looking at you um you see one of them reach up to his ears and he's uh, you see he's got an earpiece on and uh and he turns to look at something and as he does his coat opens and you see a semi-automatic weapon inside inside the coat it so just to be clear are, are they wearing like colonel sanders like seersucker suits or are they in like men in black these like, are like men in black suits, suits. yeah okay, okay. I, just, I want to make sure they weren't just like colorful locals yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
you you notice that it seems that it seems like there's some uh there's some armored guards some armed guards at this uh at this event it's a high it's a high stakes heist how close are these guys to the the circle of semi trucks that's guarding the the armored truck in the middle say you guys are about 200 yards from it right now there's plenty of there's plenty of fairground you see there's car there's carnival games there's, there's 200 there. yards from the from the prize and there's already dudes with guns we're not getting yeah. out of here guys this ain't is gonna happen is there a dunking booth uh there is a dunking booth okay. is there Here's a dunking the plan. donuts <laughs> uh, here's the plan y'all there's a honey donut bears place. i'm going to go in the dunking booth i'm gonna get dunked by one of y'all you're gonna hit the button okay i'm gonna act like i'm drowning i can't swim mm. so the guy the guard with the gun he has to take his gun off and his earpiece off and he has to get in the dunking booth to save me and that's when you make your move i'll just flip over the whole booth <laughs> and you'll both be trapped in there, but that's okay because we'll have neutralized one of the guards. And then Barbara and I will make a break for the armored truck that's got the ultra mega concentrated honey. Yeah. Right? What do we do, yeah. George? I mean, this is a plan. <laughs> We've got a plan. I don't, we, we do don't have a plan B. Do we need a plan B? Hell no. Yeah, this is do, the isn't... plan. This is going to work. <laughs> this is a plan B, B for bear. <laughs> yeah, I I figure that getting into be a, for badass. Getting into the booth is a bear move, but like knocking her into the water is a criminal move. Mm, okay, yeah. is it is it fair? Is that a fair assumption? I don't know. I've become unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> so you go? Are you going towards the dunking booth? Is that the is that the plan here? <laughs> Baloo, what you got? Yeah, like yeah, I'm going. I'm doing it. What do I do? Tell me. Okay. That's the plan. Okay, you tell me. You're walking. You're walking towards the dunking booth. Um, there's a guy in uh, in suspenders standing at the table in front of the dunking booth, and he says, "Well, hey there, Missy. Uh, uh, care care to uh, care to take a spin in the in the dunking booth?" Mm -hmm. Oh well, all right. We just need you to fi fill out this liability form real quick. <laughs> And he, he, he pulls out a clipboard with a, uh, he hands you a pen. I signed it with two paws because I don't yeah, roll, know roll, if bears have good Roll thumb. criminal, roll criminal <laughs> to see if you can, if you can use a pen. <laughs> Big plan. I can use a pen yeah. for. Yeah. Okay. So you can, you kind of grab the pen and you just sort of like stab through the paper with it. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll keep that on file. <laughs> and he looks at you a little suspiciously and, uh, and he opens And I up. wink at him. Okay, he opens up the dunking booth. Okay. It's creaking a little bit because I'm heavier than the average human. You yeah. man. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to cut the line to get up front so that I can be the one to dunk her. Okay. Do Does that, does her character break in now? Does she... Because, okay, if I climb up there and I climb up there and I'm, I am sat, I sat like a little bear. Sits. Your turn's over. Yeah, yeah, your turn's <laughs> yeah. over. You're so sitting Barbara, in the booth. Barbara, you, I'm ready. you uh, there, the, the, the line is about 20 people long. So how, how do you, uh, <laughs> what's your move here to cut? Uh, I'm going to take all 10 of my sample tickets and I'm going to go to the second and third per people in line and just say, hey, I... Uh, I gotta go. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> That's I thought too many you words. Were... That's too many words. You got to do it as a, as a honey badger. Okay. I don't know what sound they make. Oh, hmm. I'm just saying you can only speak haltingly to, um, in English. What does haltingly mean? I lie. Grunty. Grunty. One. Grunty. Cookie monster. I lie. No. One. Like okay. Monster. You tickets take. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just going to hand them the tickets and say, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll, roll criminal, roll criminal, because this is a, you're, you're trying to connive them. Um, Heck yeah, I am. Got a six. Ooh. All what right, you mean? get, a, cu a couple of them get, a, a couple of them get out of line, but a couple of them have been waiting uh, in the dunking booth for, for a bit. Now you, now you have managed to get, uh, fourth in line. So this 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 ploy hasn't gotten you all the way to the front, but you have gotten fourth in line. So the next person uh, 
Uh, next person comes up and takes their turn uh, throwing balls at the dunking booth, and they do not hit it. Uh, next couple of Leak. people come up. Uh, a no hit uh, and a no hit. So you're you're up to the dunking booth. You get and Baloo is still dry. Yeah, Baloo's still dry. Uh, and Baloo, are you are you mocking these people? It's like you like usually if you're in a dunking booth. Yes, yeah. I'm totally like you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blatter, blatter, blatter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's so, waving her crown in the air. Just yeah, she's mocking you. So uh, my bejeweled pink crown. <laughs> that's so good. You can take you can take uh, uh, three <laughs> throws. So it'll be three criminal rolls. Okay. Bear breath. I'm doing it. Yeah, first one. Okay. Roll one <laughs> is a five. Okay, the first one goes. The first one goes wide. Baloo mocks you. Wow. <laughs> All right, my we second. My second roll is a two. Okay, your Oof. second roll. Your second roll. You give the you give the old squinty eye. You wind it up real good, and you kind of do that. You hook it in with your honey badger paws. You do that little hook over the top of the baseball. Um, and you throw it, and man, it is a zinger. It hits right in the bullseye, and Baloo Bing. is dunked. Sploosh, splash. That you're 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 in the you're in the water. <laughs> How does the bear scream? <laughs> Go on, you you know the answer to that, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We knew we knew you knew. <laughs> Okay. Water splashes everywhere. The guards, the security guards here, and they immediately pull their earphones out. And you don't get to. Home. You don't get yeah, to. She, she's the game master now, George. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> you just, you just tell me. You just tell me what you're doing. I'm, I'm splashing about, splooshing about, and drowning, acting as though I'm drowning. I'm doing a really good job. Okay, roll, <laughs> roll, roll that d6 to see if you're doing a good job. <laughs> get, she's killing it. I got a six. Okay. You're doing an okay job. You are, you are splashing around. Everyone's like, what's that bear doing in there? In the water. Uh, the, 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 the booth operator comes over and he opens the door and he starts trying to, he starts trying to help you out. But you're, I mean, you're big. He doesn't know you're a bear because you're wearing these human clothes, but you are a, you're, you are a big, uh, a big you're lady. suit woman. Yeah. Yeah. So, he, so he's trying to, He's trying to pull you out, and he uh, he hollers for some help. And uh, the guy at the uh, balloon popping uh, game uh, next next to him comes over and starts trying to help. Uh, you notice uh, Landreth. You do notice that uh, this commotion is starting to draw the attention of the two guards that you saw, and they do uh, they don't come over and jump in the water, but they do kind of like start heading in that direction. And so now they're just, they're, they're not, they're not at the, at the uh, dunking booth, but they are like in the crowd. They're, they're kind of just looking, trying to see, trying to see what's going on. And you see one of them kind of like uh, talking in this, in, a, in his headpiece there. Okay. So what do you do? I want, I want to, I want to tell Barbara mm -hmm. our new plan. Okay. You know, so we want to make this commotion as big as possible but we need Barbara to stay free so she can sneak behind. She can do a very bear thing and sneak behind the tents and I'm slick. Know, root through some trash for a little bit. So what I'm going to do is make the commotion at the dunking booth even bigger okay. by dumping the whole tank over and, and, and bringing all the attention to that part of the world so that Barbara can slip unnoticed through the crowd and sneak towards the uh, the stronghold of the mega honey. The okay. Sure. Okay. I I will let you roll that one. That's a bear. That's a bear move. Roll that bear one with advantage since you're the muscle. So All roll right. it twice. I roll a six the first time. Boo. And a six the second time. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. It's uh. You get over there and you're a strong bear. I'm a strong, confident bear. Uh, yeah. And you get over there and it's like. This thing, it's full of it's full of water. There's also two humans on it and a bear inside of it who's thrashing around. 
it's it's very hard to you can't quite get a hold of it um and you're getting really frustrated so go ahead and move like several things haven't worked out move one point from criminal into bear you now got four points in bear or, w- or would that go from bear to criminal no it goes to bear when you get frustrated it moves to, it, it uh, adds to bear okay so all right, gotcha. are we supposed to be tracking our points i'll let you know when you need to all right so i've got four in bear and two in criminal now so you got you guys are both over there it, it is a, it, it did so this did succeed in, in drawing a bigger crowd you did not uh, you did not manage to tump it over but the crowd is growing uh, bear, bear you're kind of the only one who's not uh, who's not in Off center the of fray here yeah mm-hmm. well how far are we from the armored truck uh, you guys I say about 150 yards at this point okay you're, yeah I mean I have a wig on so I look good at least. You look uh, yeah, I'm not wet. Um, so I am going to, let's see, I could either, I could either kill people because that's my special skill, but I'm uh-huh. trying to fight against that. You know, it's something that's bothering me. Well, you don't me have to kill, life. like carnage is not just killing people, but. Oh, it what is it? What is it then? Just creating general mayhem, like honey, ba- honey badger oh. creating carnage. I, I thought mean- it was like, you go. <laughs> <laughs> It could be. I mean, that would be I, that would be included. It's one version of it, or yeah, very okay. aggressive vandalism. Mm, yes, yeah, super okay. aggressive vandalism. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to um, let's see. Where we're next to the the dunking tank, there's a lot of commotion there. We're about 150 yards from the armored truck, mm-hmm. so I'm going to make I'm going to make not a beeline for the truck. Oh, because it's a honey, honey is that a honey joke? Yeah. Right, but I am going to I'm going to head towards a, a another booth that's sampling honey. Okay. And I'm gonna walk up to it to make another distraction and just cause complete chaos and say, I have an allergy. And I'm gonna so we can all leapfrog the honey. It. But how are you gonna do that? Because you don't have any tickets left. Because oh, she can still cause carnage. Going wild. So you're he- so you head up. Uh, you you walk towards a booth. Uh, it's got a sign that says the Honey Hole. Uh, an older lady wearing a denim pantsuit. Uh, who's I got, love the details. Got a bunch of uh, jars. Hey, look, it was a plate last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she she's got a she's got a bunch of jars of honey on her table, um, and you can see a little thing where she's collecting tickets. And she says, and she says, well, hey there, honey, you got a ticket? Uh, you want to try some, try some honey, honey? And I'm going to say, no! <laughs> and I'm going to smack the table. I'm going to kick a table leg so the honey falls down. Oh, good move. Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Roll, uh, roll bear with advantage because this is your specialty. Yeah. I'm causing chaos. Okay. I'm rolling. One time I rolled a six and one time I rolled a two. Oh, all right. So the first time you go to kick the thing and it and it doesn't quite Whiff. doesn't quite work. Uh, the second time uh, you kick the thing, you you kick the leg of the table and it comes out. Jars of honey go everywhere. Um, they're 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 breaking on the ground. Uh, the lady, uh, the lady Greta Barnes is her name. <laughs> she uh, put some respect on her name. <laughs> yeah, put some respect on this woman. Uh, she's uh she's scrambling she's frantically trying to grab uh grab the grab the honey grab the tickets um you're just wreaking carnage you're slamming down bottles you kick out a leg of her tent half of the tent goes over and it knocks yeah. over part of the next tent you're super good at carnage you're a honey badger and you don't give up the mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you you're pretty successfully creating uh creating carnage at this point uh, you're you're about 120 yards from the armored car. Uh, a lot of the there there was a lot of commotion over at the over at the dunking booth. I say at the at this time, they've managed to kind of get you a, at least a, enough out of the water that they uh, uh, believe that they don't think you're drowning anymore. So, but uh, they but still think you're a woman. They still think you're a woman. They totally the power do. of a good outfit. The power of a good outfit. Yeah. Uh, and and just as this as just as this happens, you hear it. You just hear a loud crashing noise, and this crowd, this crowd now is drawn uh, across the way. Um, so the crowd starts moving away from you guys, and it starts moving towards 
the there's a hole. rumble at the honey hole <laughs> there's a rumble at the honey hole you hear you hear one good old boy with no shoes on say everybody head over to the honey hole and see what's going on mm-hmm. um you see uh you see the you see the guard uh you see the armed guard uh uh say go go into his uh microphone he's talking very urgently and you actually see like as he does this you see from two other uh directions you see uh uh, two other groups of two uh, armed guards come out and they look like they're listening. They look around, they look towards the honey hole and the one, one guard, one of the guards who was at the dunking booth kind of motions in that direction. All six of these guards are converging uh, on the honey hole with the rest of the larger crowd. Baloo, you and me got to make a break for it. We got, we, how, how much time do we have left, Game Master, before the, the time sink? So it's, a bit, it's at about, I'd say, you've caused several commotions. You're, you're right at about 28 minutes right now. Wow. And what's the status of the truck? The truck? The armed truck. So still locked as far as you would know. You 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 uh, look at your bear watch. You got about 28 minutes before that thing, before the uh, time lock pops open. All right, Baloo. While everyone's focused on the honey hole, I need you. Like you, you and me need to head over to this armored truck because I need you to verify that the honey, the ultra mega dense honey is actually in that truck. Isn't that your, your super skill? Like you know where so the honey you, is at? You gave me the signal. And I, I, because I'm a bear, I can climb out of the yeah. tank. The signal is woo, 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 <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Yeah. I like it. And you take this thing uh, and climb out of the tank and head for the armored truck filled, filled with mega honey. Yep. And I, and I do it, you know, fairly casually as so as not to cause another, yet another commotion because we've got a lot of commotions going on. Yeah, people, people have kind of disengaged from this dunking booth area yeah they no yeah. longer care about me I've, it's, a, it's all about the honey hole it's all about the honey hole now and so i, I <laughs> <laughs> um okay so we're gonna we're gonna make our way to the truck casually mm-hmm. because we don't want to cause an emotion a commotion um okay. so we make our way over there and because i'm so the you brain, make it, you make your way in that direction there is a oh a, oh oh you do make it there huh <laughs> well, <no. laughs> you thought you made it to the truck let me tell you <laughs> i like i like how aaron's just narrating the story and then what the guards do is <laughs> you're just like i'm the game it master was, yeah. not the game observer okay, yeah. <laughs> okay your right. first step was your last <laughs> but as you make your way in that direction uh you see the you see the crowd off to your right uh gathering at the honey hole uh, there, a group of a group of barefoot uh, kids runs barefoot. by. Runs They're by. Called paws. Yeah, what kinds of bare feet? Do you <laughs> <laughs> a, a group of no shoe wearing kids runs. There we go. Runs runs by you and uh, and a little boy says, "There's commotion over at the honey hole. Head on over there." <laughs> He's a well spoken kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. <laughs> There's a snake mm. in my boot. There's we just snake. we just kind of nod and smile as yeah. bears do. And as you as you get as as I mentioned before, there's there's a ring of like se- semis that go around where this uh, thing is parked. So this is kind of like this is kind of like the it's not that the armored truck is just out in the open, right? There's a ring of like trailers that go around it and they've got these are like buildings please tell me one of the please tell me one of the semis is a transformer and like optimus prime is about to be in this game man i wish man (laughs) (laughs) didn't stay up late enough for that yeah not late enough or he stayed up too late i'll I'll give you i'll give you this one of the trucks is painted like the optimus prime truck oh yes and and you notice you've you've watched tv through the convenience store window i guess and you know optimus you're like cool that's a sweet paint job (laughs) Uh, but you notice that these you notice that these buildings it does seem to be like some event staff are you know like these trailers have uh have doors on the side they've put up little platforms they're like temporary buildings like a construction like temporary building that they've put up so this is kind of like the office you see people going in and out there's one that you kind of pinpoint as like oh this is the this is the coffee truck you know people are going in empty-handed coming out with styrofoam cups of uh of steaming hot coffee um stirring in what you can only assume would be maybe a little honey um and you do see four you do see four guards kind of lounging at uh one of the trucks um right in front of where y'all are 
Cool. I would like to sneak underneath the little trailers. I don't know if, if that if that's a bear move or a criminal move, but I want to I want to I want to do my my skills. Wait, would you call it a bear crawl? Ooh, Ooh yeah, definitely wow. a bear crawl. <laughs> Crossfit. Yeah. I haven't even gotten into if the coffee trailer has bear claws. Yeah. Oh, I, well, yeah. I mean, nobody asked. <laughs> okay. But... <laughs> okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> yeah, they got elephant trying to build a world over here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is a fair. Like, what's the funnel cake situation? Uh, so you did pass a funnel cake stand. Uh, I never pass a funnel cake stand. Let's be clear. <laughs> I, I was following Baloo's lead. She said you. She said you uh, uh, beelined for the. Listen, we have honey. We have honey goals. We can retcon. Mm. Did you guys stop and did you guys stop and get a funnel cake? We did not stop. No, my cake. my. I have a honey. I have a sense for honey, and that's all I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I know. I know where the jackpot is. I know so where the honey I, pot is. I recommend that we sneak underneath the the semi trailers and get a clearer view of like the the truck in the middle. Okay. Well, I will say that there's there's room underneath. There's enough room underneath these trailers for you to sneak, but there is a bit of a gap like there, there it's not like it's not like you can just get to them right there's a bit of a clearing around where these trailers are so like how do you like how do you get to the to the trailers and get under it without anybody being like without any of the guards being like oh look there's somebody sneaking under this trailer oh well obviously i'm disguised as a human we're going to we're going to knock off the uh, the crown off of Blue's head, and we're like, "Oh, gross! We have to get crown from under trailer." Okay, right, all right. <laughs> you, yeah, I mean, I'll go. I'll go along with that. Yeah, on board. Sure. Okay, for sure. <laughs> okay, all right. You, I'm uh... just like, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so who's going? Who's going under the trailer? <laughs> uh, I think I think Baloo should go because she's got the super nose and can like sense the honey, right? Okay, I'll go. So, so, so uh, you're distracting the anyone who might come by to yeah. ask what's going I'm gonna on. I'm gonna go yawn and like smack the crown off your head yep. on accident. <laughs> okay, you smack the crown off your head. Okay, and okay. it rolls under. And it rolls, it rolls under, under and it. Oh, no, my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you make a big scene <laughs> and then go to stealth under the. <laughs> yeah, and then stealth mode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm as a say, bear, I'm I can say, crawl under the truck. I'm gonna say crawling under the truck is a bear move. So mm-hmm. yeah, where did he go? Uh, roll that roll for bear. Five. Gods, not I'm getting some high numbers. So like, you uh you 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 get on you get up under the truck. Your big old your big old bear butt with the tail is is kind of hanging out, which looks but, great by the way. Looks great. In um, a skirt. And uh and as you're down as you're down there looking uh. Well, a pair of the guards you've noticed these guards seem to just move in in groups of two a pair of the guards come over and say uh excuse excuse me ma'am this is a uh, this is for a area uh for authorized personnel only can uh can we see your credentials or can we help you in some way and they're kind of like peeking under the under the thing they don't notice that you're a bear because you're wearing these clothes although Such they, good do, disguises. they do look a little suspicious now that your hat is gone it's my turn oh god what well I- there it, we, either of y'all there i i would say uh barbara streisand uh, you've caused a significant amount of carnage and mm-hmm. are you are you trying to disengage from this or, or are you trying to draw people to another part of the i mean i feel like you know if carnage is my skill i've got to continue to cause more mayhem so we can get those guards all in one place distract okay. them are you are you are you distract. staying at the honey hole or are you moving um are you moving no, I'm moving to the funnel cake enclosure. Okay, where right. I'm about to start. I'm about to start a grease fire. Is my plan. I, I hope. I hope there's a, like a hair salon inside there called the Beehive. Okay, Aww. no, there is. You move toward. Yeah. You move toward. You move toward the. Uh, you move across the way. Uh, there's tons of carnage. Uh, you 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 move across the way uh, through the uh, throngs of screaming people, mm-hmm. uh, to the funnel cake stand. And even though there's a massive amount of carnage, nobody seems to have gotten out of line from funnel cakes. Like they were there. People want funnel, cake. want funnel cakes. 
So as you approach the funnel cake stand, uh, how, how do you want to, well, first of all, roll for carnage, uh, oh, okay. roll, roll bear. Um, and Did I will I say, it twice? Uh, yeah, you roll it twice. And I will say that you can get, I don't know if I mentioned it, but, but by gorging yourself on honey, you switch a point from criminal to bear. That's how you can get bear points back. Oh, okay. It's gorging on honey. If I eat hey, some. I know we've been playing this for 25 minutes, but there's new <laughs> yeah. rules now. What? Okay, yeah. wait, I'm rolling. My okay. first roll is a four. Okay. My second roll is also a four. Okay. Um, yeah, you go over towards the, you go over, you, you're like running towards the funnel cake stand and you jump at it, uh, ready to, ready to push it over and you just kind of slam into it and it rocks a little mm -hmm. bit mm -hmm. and um and a teenage a, a teenage boy kind of like kicks at you a little bit and says hey get in line <laughs> yep and and uh a, a, a lady pop a lady a lady's head pops out from the funnel cake stand and says and says yeah there's a line <laughs> and she points towards the line <laughs> and i go hmm do I get that get you? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I already rolled twice. I thought it wasn't successful. It wasn't. Right. So what do I, what, what do, do I lose a point? I don't understand what happened, what I'm supposed to do next. I guess you just get in line. So uh, I can't, I can't yeah. try and throw my wig in the fryer so that it catches fire. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, absolutely. That's my ultimate plan. Okay. Roll, uh, roll criminal for throwing a wig. That's not quite a bear thing <laughs> that's a criminal move i got a five. Oh. okay you throw you are we throw, sure this google roll dice is is working out yeah you throw your you throw your wig in the fryer and you you're hoping for a grease fire but as as you throw your wig and you see that it totally misses the grease um and totally misses the burner and you kind of slump over a little bit and <laughs> And you turn back to the line and you see the teenage kid who just scolded you just staring at you and he points at you and he's like oh my god it's a honey badger because <laughs> you've taken off your wig yeah big reveal um, and people start people start running uh cut back to cut back to the ring of trucks uh you see you see one of the, the, the group that's just approached you, the two guys that have just approached you, and then there's two other guys about 10 feet away. Uh, the group, the two guys 10 feet away, uh, one of them uh, puts his hand to his ear and he says, a honey badger? And they, and they both reach for their guns and start, towards, start off towards where, you, uh, where the funnel cake place was. Now there's two guards uh, who were saying, uh, saying to y'all, uh, this is an unauthorized space, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to move out from under that trailer. So I anyway. am a bear. So I'm gonna swipe at their legs. Okay. Get them off their feet. Yeah. Roll bit. Roll bear. Okay. Roll that bear. Oh, bad. Two. All right. That's a success. Uh, just as they're just as they're leaning over to see what's going on. Uh, you reach out, you swipe at their legs, you bowl both of them over. Um, you see that their their earpieces kind of fall out. So you think to yourselves, both of you see this happen, and you think to yourselves that you maybe bought a window where they're not they're they're not in communication with the other guys, and they're uh, they are on the ground, they're scrambling. Just to be sure, I'm gonna whack them real good just to knock them out. Okay. With my bare arms. So they don't get back up for at least a couple minutes. Yeah, I, I mean, we still got twenty minutes before this this truck opens up, so we gotta we gotta take him out of commission for longer than just a couple seconds. Okay, roll bear. You know I will. Oh gosh, hang on. Rolling five. Phooey. Do I get to roll twice though? Because it's a strength move. I'll let you roll twice. Okay. Bear. Four. Um. Yes. Perfect. I'm. I, I. I. have four bear right now. Do you? All right. Yeah. yeah when, my, when my criminals move over. Yeah. So you go. How those you, work? You go and you bash their heads and you're like, and you're like, oh, I think I knocked them out. And you move your hands away and they are dead. They are absolutely dead. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> and you go. Wow. Boop, boop. So. 
There you go. Hey, in for a penny, in for a pound. That's what I always say whenever <laughs> yeah. I'm doing heists. Yep. So what 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 do you do? Ruh, ruh. I take their earpiece and put it in my ear. All right, good move. So I should probably Excellent. roll criminal. I assume. No, no, you you can put the pe- the earpiece in your ear. Sweet. And roll. then I also I also put an earpiece in to Baloo's ear. Okay. And, and then we both shimmy under I, the I, truck. I give her a wet willy while I'm doing it. Yeah, you get a little wet willy. And, and I- and- <laughs> <laughs> so I will mention there's there's two dead bodies. Do we leave the dead bodies? Absolutely. Okay. We're on a time. We're, on, we're an almost example. out of time. All right. All right. Uh, mean meanwhile, what way? Which way are you running? Are you running, or what are you? What are you doing, Barbara? Oh, what am I doing? Yeah. Oh, they've just they've just outed you as a honey badger. I mean, it serves me right, but. Uh, I mean, what's, what's around me? What other booths are around me? So you got the funnel, the funnel cake vendor. Um, there's a, there's a couple of booths that seem to be like, like commercial services. There's like, uh, Chase Bank has a thing there where there's just some people on in and a then booth. the beehive, the beehive hair, hair salon, right? Yeah. There's a, there's, there is a tent that's just doing beehive hairdos. That's uh, right. Are they <laughs> now's your chance? Are they using like they're using? Well, they're obviously using hairspray, uh-huh. and they're probably using hot tools. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. I see where this is going. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna scurry. I'm gonna take large steps towards the beehive hairdo salon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think of a good word. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking big, big bear steps. Okay. Um. And I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, is there a line for the beehive? Uh, there's not as long of a line as there was for the, um, funnel cakes, but there, there's about seven people in line. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roar at them like a bear so that I, they will scatter. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll bear for that real quick. Um, and I'll give you, I'll give you advantage because this is a carnage move. A carnage Remember, I don't feel bear? good about your chances. There's, there's a lot of dudes with guns heading your way. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. No one explained to me what the stakes are. I don't know. I I don't. I don't know if we're all gonna make this out of here. Out of here alive. <laughs> well, I, I rolled gonna... a. I rolled a five, so we're not gonna make it out of here. Did you roll twice? <laughs> yeah. Wait. No. I rolled a four. Okay. Yeah. What? What are you? What are you trying to do now? You're trying to. I was trying to roar at the people so they would move out of the. Why is there gonna be a line in front of everything? <laughs> I'm this just is trying a very to go popular inside. Affair. Like, why can't I just run past them like a bear? You can run past them. Okay. Well, well no, I already said I was going to roar. Is that a roar? Okay, so you stop. So you stop to you stop to roar, <laughs> and then you realize you realize as it's coming out of your mouth that you're a honey badger and not a bear. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it is off putting to the people. Plus, you're not wearing your wig anymore, and they're like. Honey badger, and they 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 kind of some of them start to scatter, anyways. But you can still run past them. Okay. <laughs> just because I, I said there's a, a line, bear, just because I, I said I there's a if, line, doesn't mean it doesn't mean you have to stand in line. You are. If you run lady. into that place and they have beehive wigs, then you could redisguise yourself, and they wouldn't even know that you're the honey badger anymore. I mean, I feel like with my leather pants, they would still know what to look for, but. Um, George, but I'll, George is that I'm will just, that pass? Yeah, the pants over romper look. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the plan Dude, is. Anymore. You look, you look in the, you look in the. Uh, oh, okay. There is a, there is a one beehive wig, one beehive hairdo. Wig. <laughs> Great. So I made it into the beehive. Yeah. Uh, I put the wig on. Okay. And everyone's but, like, "Oh, look at that ugly lady." <laughs> Not a <laughs> <thing about her. laughs> But I would like to acquire some hairspray so I can start a hairspray fire. Okay. <laughs> I'll stay in the carnage. You grab a uh, you grab a couple of cans of uh, hairspray. It's Aquanet. those giant yeah, Aquanet. it's those giant aluminum cans. Mm-hmm. Yes, that, that like that like destroy the ozone. Yes, absolutely. Time. With each so, spray. so those are the cans. Oh, Aquanet. Yeah. Yeah, you got okay. two of them. Are you heading? Uh, which, which way are you heading with these cans? I don't know. I've got to find a fire source. Okay. I don't know if fire sources are available at I mean, the honey. The, the, the fryer there, there's always there. a fire no. blower at a carnival, right? You got a, the fire blower. You the fire seen, eater. You the haven't fire seen eater. A, yeah, you haven't seen a fire eater 
but you do see uh you do see like an open grill uh perfect there, there's a guy, are, are they grilling like honeycomb is it sausage perfect? on a stick oh they're or, do, or honey they're doing it yeah they're doing honey chicken Ooh. oh okay okay uh, honey okay. sausage oh that sounds good i can get down with that there's uh there's eight armed guards approaching what your location oh okay so not they're not in line for the chicken <laughs> no, they're not in line for- <laughs> <laughs> I'd say there's there's one there's one they guard totally who, reg- like you know got got gotten away from all the commotion and they just said I'm gonna go get some chicken. Their partners there have chicken. died. And like, no, <laughs> I there is, there is I could really go for some honey chicken. There is one there is one guy who's in the who's in the suit of like a guard and he's got his shirt kind of untucked and uh he's just like playing on his cell phone and he is standing mm-hmm. in line for honey chicken he looks like he's okay. on break he it's because it. his headphones they're just playing music he just yeah. switched it to spotify and he just put yeah. on his, his carnival his honey playlist so you head over there they got open flame they're making honey chicken okay Big pots of honey yum yeah yum 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 Well, depending on, I mean, if I have the big aquanets, I only need to be a few feet back to spray into the open flame. Okay. So I'm going to finagle my way to kind of like look like I'm looking at what's on the grill because I have my wig on, you know, I'm beehived out. Yeah. Uh, And I'm going to pop up, pop the top of the ultra hold and I'm going to attempt to spray the fire source to magnify it and catch something on fire. Okay. Um, Sausage is on fire. <laughs> yeah, roll, roll, uh, roll, criminal, but roll this twice because it's all carnage. I appreciate I'm you roll, to... playing your character. This is what I'm good at. My first roll was a five. My second roll was a two. All Ooh, right. Yeah. So you shake it up. The first time it kind of doesn't spray. It's like mm-hmm. it's like the top, the tip is on quite kind of like slanted and it doesn't push or down. It's clogged. It's yeah. Gunky. Yeah. yeah. And you it's kind tough. of like you kind of like jiggle the tip a little bit mm-hmm. and you take out both of your cans and you're just like <laughs> and you're just like as soon as you press the as soon as you press the buttons, it's like slow motion. <laughs> and, like, and it's like and as soon as the fire. as soon because as soon as the as soon as the aerosol catches flame now you just have a flame have two flame flame throwers, throwers yeah, and you're, yeah. Just, you're just spinning around in like slow motion <laughs> like everything everything is catching with on my fire. beehive wig on yeah, by and the i way. want you guys to just imagine a honey badger and like a jumper and a beehive wig just and like, leather pants ooh, leather yeah. pants just like two just like two flamethrowers just i've seen i want like panda. the yeah i, I want the yeah. heart the heart song crazy on you to be playing <laughs> Yeah, it's just come. It's just come over the. just come over the. That's in the guy's headphones. Yeah. Are you like? Are you like laughing as though you finally succeeded? Too. You're just like you got this big smile on your face. Like. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't even like chicken, so I'm. I'm actually a vegetarian bear, so I'm really excited. She's right. Yeah, she's running booth to booth, setting things on fire. Alarms start sounding over the loudspeaker. Yeah. By by this time. Uh, you guys, you you guys have uh, you guys uh, you guys are now uh, crawling under the crawling under the trailers. Uh, you look at your watch. You know you have three minutes left. All right. I so, think we're way past crawling crawling under those trailers. I think we're already like at the truck. Well, so, I'm getting, so, so I'm getting I, to, I, I do I do like one of those tactical things with Baloo. I'm like, all right, look at me, focus on the eyes on the prize. Um, can you can you just like run up to the truck and like confirm that there's actually ultra honey? I'm, what I'm afraid of is like it's a trap. I like, it's it's like a, it's you know hey it's a false flag. Can you like run up to to the truck and make sure that there's honey in there? Ultra mm-hmm. mega honey, super mm-hmm. concentrated dense honey, or do we want to go around like the the circle of semis and and test each one of those and see if there's honey in those guys? I say why don't why don't you roll uh, why don't you roll for bear and you can roll it twice because this is your your skill is sense honey. Oh, so me. Yeah. I'm doing mm-hmm. it. Yeah, because what if they actually put the honey somewhere? Okay, I got a six on the yeah. first one. Yeah. Shoot. And a four on the second one. <gasps> okay, because this is mega honey, you can tell you can tell that the mega honey, like just as bears, you can tell that there is some super honey in this area. You can't tell exactly where it's coming from based on your sense of smell. But you both you both can tell that it's over here. 
All right, Somewhere. we're in the we're in the general vicinity. Uh, what do we hear over our headsets that we stole off the bodies of these guards? Oh man, you just hear <laughs> you hear uh, you hear the Heart's song "Crazy, crazy. by Heart." <laughs> <laughs> We're over here just like <laughs> you hear there's a there's a lady at the there's a lady at the at the honey chicken stand setting fire to everything. She's got flamethrowers. How'd you get flamethrowers in through security? I don't know. Uh uh you, at you this point lot, you hear a lot of you hear a lot of carnage mm -hmm. going on. Uh, through the through the earpiece, uh, nobody seems to be talking about uh, about Us. the about y'all at this point. Yeah, no one's discovered the dead guards yet. So, all right. So, so we're, we're, I I say I'm gonna make a break for it to the armored truck. And, and and we've only got a little bit of time left, so I'm, I'm gonna make my way over there and get ready to pull the doors off. Same. Okay. I think can we both do that because I'm unhinged at this point. Soup's unhinged. <laughs> Yeah, you head towards the armored car. There's there doesn't seem to be any security like inside of the perimeter the there. of trucks. Yeah, it seems like all of the guards uh you would you would imagine were on the outside and now most of them have been pulled towards the fire and the it's like <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um and so you you guys are alone in this you're you're in a little clearing inside uh and there's just a little armored a little armored truck sitting there. <laughs> Um, in a little armored truck yeah. in Central Arkansas, it's un, it's un, it's unmanned. You know, it was probably driven here at the at the beginning of the festival and then set up here. So, and left. Ripping the doors, the armored doors off, would be a bear move. Do you go to rip the armor? You you know you know with your uh, with your bear watch that it's about sixty seconds before the door unlocks on its own. You can try to rip the doors off if you want. What is the door unlocking on its own for? Why why is it doing that? So Just this is history. you know that this is they they have to um it, it's a it's a time block and they're giving out the grand prize which is this jug of honey. Okay. And uh so they initiated ultra the mega block. concentrated honey, man. Yeah. Mega Eight honey. Posh bees. Yeah, but they but they Is uh, it like pot of gold honey? Like yeah. It's carry no. gold. Yeah. Yeah. Carry gold. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, you know that the uh, that somebody should be heading back here to pick up this honey. So you know you'll have a have a pretty fast window when it when it opens. But that's the that's what it is it's on a time block, and it's just for the for the ceremony presenters to come get the grand prize. So I think one of us should wait for the doors to open and grab the pot of gold honey, and the other one should should watch out for the. There's only one person coming back to uh, you know you're not sure. We don't know. We we know there's two guards who aren't coming back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> George, pause. What, I, so we don't we so, don't know. So so I say you have 30 seconds. There's nobody around you yet. So your watch is at 30 seconds to to when the door is unlocked. All right. So I, I nominate Baloo to go in and grab the honey because I'm I'm the I'm the muscle here, so I'll stay outside and and stand guard. Right? Okay. Okay. So, are you guys like just like doing a secret handshake during the thirty seconds? We like, are. Yeah. are you, Actually, I mean, we're just rocking Ms. out. Sue. We're just we're really Ms. just Sue. jamming out. We're Ms. Sue yeah. from <laughs> Alabama, sitting in a rocking chair, eating butter crackers, waiting for the cocktail. Tick tock, two, boom, bananas. One. The light blinks from red to green, <laughs> and you hear a little beep, and you hear a. All right, get in there, Baloo. And I grab the honey, and do I have to roll you, anything? Do you open the door first. <laughs> You said it just kind of clicks unlocked. And so yeah, you, you the door the, open, it clicks door unlocked, unlocked, open the yeah. door. Okay, you open and, the door and you see, and they see, I the see. you see a jug of mega honey. Mega honey. Yes! There's a little light under it so that it, it's kind of uplit. Does it have like, is it, if I take it off, is like the entire, is the truck just going to collapse into the ground like Indiana Jones? And like, Let's find out. I'm not going to that off? truck. <laughs> yeah. Do you remove it from the pedestal? So I look around. Yeah. There's nothing. Uh, I, you, you don't see anything. There's uh, nothing. La okay. Landreth, Landreth, you hear uh, you hear some footsteps approaching. Uh -oh. What do I hear on the radio? Uh, you you hear "Secure the Honey." You, you hear somebody saying "Secure the Honey." Okay. And it's also it's Led Zeppelin's "Immigrant Song" is also that's the next track. Ah! <laughs> so the, 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 
I'm now so, I'm I'm actually running towards the <laughs> towards the semis, but I'm running okay. very slowly because I'm laughing and spraying fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're running slowly. You're laughing, you're spraying fire. Are you catching, right. are you, are you catching some of the semis on fire? Uh, I, yeah, I, I, I'm spraying one, but it hasn't caught on fire yet. But I, you know, I don't know where they are. I'm just on a rampage yeah. right and, now. And, and if the semis are in a circle around the truck, then she can ultimately, like, if they're going to catch on fire, it's going to be a ring of fire around this honey it's truck. It's a ritual. <laughs> All right. So you're heading that way. Cut back to Landreth. Landreth, uh, you see the community, uh, you see the uh, event organizer, uh, billionaire honey collector, John Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, you, see, you see him approaching uh, through this uh, ring of trucks and he's got a, uh, he's got a legion of guards with him. He's got 10 guards with him. Golly. Uh, and he, he they, they approach and he sees you. Uh, he sees you and he immediately, th now this guy, this guy is not your average human. This guy is, uh, this guy is, he's some next level shit, right? He's like Elon Musk and fucking like Tony Stark combined John into Albuquerque. one. Yeah. yeah, John Albuquerque. You of the Arkansas Albuquerques. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big he, family, strong family, powerful He comes family. through, he's, he yeah. squints his eyes at you. Uh, just then, uh, Baloo is coming out the door with the, with the pot of uh, mega honey. And he spots you both. I'm and like says, also eating some too. And I'm like, yep, yeah. can confirm. You, this you, is eat mega some honey. Of the, you eat some of the mega honey? Put one of your, put one point from criminal to bear. So now you have four bear, two criminal. Um, Took a little snacky snack. The John Albuquerque looks at you. He whips his sunglasses off his face and he says, bears. And the, the guards all draw their weapons. Does he have a monocle under his his, his sunglasses? <laughs> he's got he's got a monocle on on each eye, like both eyes have a monocle. Uh, <laughs> Double monocle? <laughs> no, he's a multi monocle. It's a lot bearer. of chains. Uh, just as they draw their weapons, uh, you you see one of the uh, actually the Optimus Prime painted semi. truck semi starts to starts to catch fire. Uh, they look to you and they look to it and uh, they put so, so half of them point their guns at the two of y'all and half of them kind of point their guns in the direction of the Optimus Prime semi and uh, and 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 John Albuquerque says secure the honey and because so it's I'm an gonna arm use, I'm going to oh. use my giant bear strength to pick up the truck and throw it at the five guys who are in me I mean. oh, oh yeah I okay. like that Roll, I was going to go. go in another direction. Roll, I was gonna roll bear twice. Okay. Very strong. Bear. Five. Fooey. One. Oh, wow. Okay. You, uh, as he says, he says, secure the honey. And they, they, they point guns again, all in slow motion. I don't have to tell you this. <laughs> you grab the armored truck, which has to weigh 10,000 pounds, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you just fling it over your head like a, <laughs> like a like a plastic like a play little toy. Yep. sandbag. Um, the the guards start firing like they start squeezing off rounds. But by the time they do that, you're whipping around with this armor truck, and the bullets are just ricocheting <laughs> off into the air off the armor truck. You swing it around, and you just knock you knock eight of the guards just off of their feet. One of them goes flying over the ring of trucks. Uh, just as that happens. John Albuquerque dives out of the way because he's basically like he's a crazy, crazy dude. Um, just as that happens, the 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 Optimus Prime truck, which is on fire, the the walls of the truck of the trailer fall away, and you see inside. This must have been for some stunt act, act but there's two motorcycles inside of it. One of them, <laughs> one of them with a sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> They're black motorcycles and they have like a honey pot graphic and then flames coming out mm -hmm. the back of it. Yeah. I'm, yep. I'm jumping in the sidecar because I got to protect the honey. Uh, well, I take my cans and I, I cap them. You hold I, your cans there, yeah. And I put them, I just, I tuck them into my bell bottoms <laughs> yeah. and I do the signal. I see you guys through the, fl through the smoke clearing and I say, yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, sound. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and I'm still in a beehive wig. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm yeah, I'm I'm following Baloo. I'm I I hop I'm, into the driver's seat. And and then we take off because we can, right? Can we take off? The motorcycles have keys. Who's <laughs> yeah. yeah? Who's driving the motorcycles? I'm in the I'm in the oh, I'm, I'm in the sidecar. I'm yeah. driving one. And I'm driving the yeah. other. I'm in the, the sidecar side with the with the mega pot of honey. All right. Uh but both of the drivers ro roll criminal. Oh gosh, here we the go. The song has changed to uh, the boys are back in town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a six. Four. <laughs> Yikes. <Shoot. Okay. laughs> we ain't going nowhere. All right. You get the you just get you do, <laughs> you do get them started up off. And as the boys are back in town, <laughs> starts to play. Um, you uh, you you get you get the motorcycles and you ramp them off the off of the truck, and you start uh, you start to you start to drive them. But you get about a hundred yards, and they and and they kind of like uh, sputter and skid to a stop. Uh, you you imagine that they had not gassed them up yet. Mm -hmm. But you do you have made it out of this uh, out of the out of the ring, okay. So, um, so we're we're basically halfway between got the, honey. the ring and the gate. Yeah. Do we go back and get in a semi truck and see what, if what's what's up, between? Or are we going on foot? What's between us and the gate at this point? Just a bunch of angry villagers and a bunch of a bunch of pedestrians. Um, you see, you see one little one little girl with pigtails. Just eating a cotton candy. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm no so idyllic. I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest we just make a break for it. All three of us head in the same direction. We just run, barreling. We run, out. we run. Me with the honey pot, running fast. And meanwhile, when we get to the gate, we notice that the gatekeepers that were handing out the tickets are like <laughs> super, super stoned. <laughs> There's no one at the gate. They're just laying on the ground, looking at clouds. <laughs> yeah. Because the brownies you gave them an hour ago. Yeah, well, <laughs> I forgot to. that we did. That. The, 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 Which the was woman, actually an hour ago. The woman was like, the woman, the woman is like, where do you think the word honey came from? It's such a <laughs> weird word, honey. Mm -hmm. You 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 run past them, um, and you run you you run past the tree line, and as 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 our bear heroes barely make it out alive. Uh, we hear the instrumental guitar duet in the boys in Bracken Town playing. <laughs> <laughs> and and roll credits. <laughs> wow. Wow. You guys did a really good job. <laughs> Proud of us. You got yeah. the honey, you got out of there, you only killed. John Albuquerque guys. is going to get away with this again. Ten people? T Twelve people? How many people did we kill? Yeah, well, you killed those two guards. You imagine you killed probably six or seven of the ones that you hit with an armored <laughs> truck. <laughs> and I don't know how many burns. <laughs> I, I was yeah, yeah, you're not sure. You're not sure. But this this will definitely go down in history in Petty Grew, Arkansas. Petty Grew, Arkansas, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> cool. Bear Yeah. Dude, I feel... I feel like this was important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys can you guys did not play D D, but you got close. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. It's it's a lot. We went over a little bit, so sorry if anybody uh, had actual work to do. <laughs> had actual work to do today. <laughs> yeah. Um, but thanks for playing my game with me. And uh don't forget, people, you can call that we're still making a podcast this is still a podcast isn't yeah, it? yeah you guys can, you guys can call you guys can call and ask your questions which may prompt us to play uh games i don't know uh you can call us at 855-700-BIRD uh you can hit us up on yellowbirdfoods.com uh all the socials at yellowbirdsauce don't forget you can get uh 10 percent off your next order on our website with the code hotline 10 don't forget to hug your dogs hug your cats hug your bears Stay spicy up with a bear hug. Bear, bear hugs. Bear hugs. Bye bye.